hope that the public will not forget. Don't forget your past. Pray for a bright future. And I wish all of you the best. And God bless you. My name is Diane Sobrano, and I'm thrilled to be all of you to prove I am. Especially as the person who said someone should beat me up. Isn't that true? Yeah. You know, it, it is interesting that everybody who comes up and wants to see everything through rosy colored glasses and does not want to see that which needs repair or fixing are the very people who have people ejected and who threaten. What a concept, isn't it? We've had more people thrown out of these meetings in the last two to three months than in the entire 20 years that I've been coming here because of one person in a building seat that handled the possibility that they may not be the best things in the life of What a shame. You see, those of us who come here come with our facts and we bother to read that. Someone came to this microphone and said, well, on the agenda, they'll be on the police. That's right. But if you read the actual document, that MSG contract was for a police with an option to purchase. This council voted to sell 14 acres for roughly $7 million. <coughs> That's not a lot of money on prime real estate. Now, at least one council member read that along with us. Thank you, Michael. But that meant that the others said it's okay to sell our city for practically nothing. The most important thing for some of the people who come to this meeting is to support the man who thinks he wears a cape and to praise the concept of a ticking clock. Unfortunately, Good things take time. Good results come after hard work. Life isn't just in simple things. And now, I'm sure, someone will remind me my time is almost done. But keep in mind, not everybody was advised the representative for the school district was going to have a meeting, which was careful. But isn't it funny that only a few people were made aware? Milton Brown, since we were discussing contracts, so I'd like to tell a story concerning contracts. Let's assume somebody's hired $50 an hour on an eight hour job. Their duty is to bust food. You're a waxer, factual wood floors, and you totally shampoo your carpets. You know it's going to cost $400. They begin an hour into the job. The buffer breaks. And his waxer breaks. So the contractee comes to you and says, can you give me an advance so I can go finish the job with new equipment? You say, sure, just sign the receipt. So you give him $100, he gets the equipment, he finishes the job. At the end of the job, you give him $300. You're satisfied, he's satisfied. Then two years go by, you run into him. The two begin to arm over a labor game. You then turn and say, I don't like you anymore. By the way, I want the buffer and the waxer that I gave you for that job. Hey, you advanced me for my own salary. Oh, no, no, the receipt you signed told me that I can not own it. Get the money back anytime I want. Like, I got four years to get it back. That, my friend, is called contract of adhesion. What is contract of adhesion? When somebody is put into a take the leave situation, they really is embargoed. And you basically advance in their money. And then later, claim whatever dividend that they bought with their money. That's an interesting concept. And basically, while not going into detail, I think at least three or four of you know exactly the scenario I'm speaking of. And I would not have basically come up and tell this story now. I would not want to spend Tuesday night in the bright lights on the TV. I would much rather have gotten a phone call from someone that's got had my number for eight years. 
But that they believe these things should be discussed in the bright lights on TV when they could have been done one on one on the phone call. But that's the story, and it has me. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, City Council, staff. My name is Ted Brass, and I'm a proud resident of the city of Inglewood. Additionally, I'm a long-term business owner over 35 years in this city. And I am very proud of the direction that this city is heading with the administration. I am excited about the direction. Now, I'm a commercial broker, so I do a lot of working with businesses that come into the city. And I must say that in the past, going back some years, it's been difficult for me to lease properties or to sell properties to potential business owners in the city. It has not been user-friendly, a word that it used. However, I have seen that direction change. I get an upsurge. I have buildings now that I'm getting inquiries and leasing. And I'm happy about that. Whether it's partners with private sector on improving multi-unit buildings or the soundproofing of residents throughout the city. Anything that's done with improving housing stock, the quality, homes that the bent properties are predominantly older properties. So certainly those things that we can do as a city and as private parties working together, I applaud that. I'm very optimistic with this new direction. And I see it catching on with my fellow citizens 